living in the state of Texas, but I hate the winters. Currently, it is January. January is supposed to be cold and snowy. Here, it is 70 degrees, the sun is shining, and I'm wearing shorts. So just for a little escapism for my sake, let's take a look at Ski or Die for the NES. So if you've ever played Ski or Die's cousin Skate or Die, you'll very quickly see a strong resemblance. Same basic overworld, same tubular 90s vibe, only with a shopkeeper who kind of looks like a gay Randy Quaid. The guy is easily 30 times scarier than Skater Die's shopkeeper. Easily. And also like its predecessor, Skier Die is a compilation of five simple minigames. You can try to murder another player by stabbing pitchforks at him while tubing down a hill, get in a snowball fight that reminds me of that one scene from Elf, ski down a mountain similar to the old school Ski Free, and snowboard while picking up garden gnomes for god knows what reason. All of the games are simple, but not necessarily fair. I'm mostly talking about the fifth game, Acro Aerials. It's sort of like the swan dive game in track and field. I have no idea how I'm supposed to play it, so I just mash buttons and see what happens. That strategy has never worked for me. Let's see, 4.2, 3.4, 4.5, 2.7, well, okay, granted, I don't know how I'm supposed to play the game, but still. Uh, 2.7, 2.5, 2.7, 0.8? Who gets a .8 on anything? Come on! And faceplant. Wonderful. Let's see. Oh, and he ranks me higher than everybody else, too. That, that's, that, that, that's great. Thank you, judge number four. But if at any time you get tired of putting up with any of the game's bullcrap, press select. Or as I like to call it, the win button. Watch. And no, that was not an editing trick. It seriously does end the game wherever you are, and it doesn't even erase your score. This probably opens up the opportunity for the fastest speedrun of any game ever. In fact, I timed myself and found out that if using the win button, one can complete the game in as little as 55 seconds. You could complete this entire game two times before you finish watching this vault. Even without the win button though, Skier Die is still incredibly short. Taking your time, it only takes you a little over 10 minutes to do everything there is to do. It just goes to show how much games have changed over the years. Nowadays, cinematic quality visuals and story are commonplace, but rewind to the 90s and it's all about simplicity and nonsense. We miss you, 90s. Thank <laughs> you.